Well, my friend, welcome inside the 2021 BMW, I mean, Toyota GR Supra. Everything inside says BMW. Under the hood says BMW. It's a BMW, but it's a 2021 pre-production Toyota GR Supra, and I only have it for three days, so I'm returning it uh, today, so I have to get my video done quickly. I do have an article with a lot more specs and details in everymandriver.com, so today is just going to be a lot of fun driving. Not a lot, but a little bit, just to give you a sense of what this car is about. Start it up. Woo! Powering our beast here in absolute zero white on the outside and black on the inside is a three liter inline six twin scroll turbocharger, variable valve timing, 382 horsepower, 368 pound feet of torque engine made it to an eight speed automatic transmission and it is rear wheel drive rolling on 19 inch forged aluminum wheels super sport tires this is a bad biscuit so as i put it in drive here let's go on a little bit of a a jaunt so you can see this thing in action i'm so upset that i only get this for three days and this being pre-production they've got to uh share it with other media people so everyone gets a chance to see it and they can promote it as much as possible. I did a 2020 Supra video. I'll put a link to all my Toyota videos in the description below along with my free car shopping tools. So if you want to get a head start on your Toyota shopping or sports car shopping, use that. Make model zip code, all that good stuff. Good deals based on uh, your zip code from dealerships in your area. Woo! Dang! So reading on the specs, it was just over four seconds on zero to 60 in this. We have a heads up display, a really nice instrument cluster, pretty straightforward with the instrument cluster, uh, which I guess is more Toyota centric, um, more their brand. Everything else is BMW, the shifter, the infotainment screen, everything is taken from that. You can even see under the hood. Here, here's a closer look under the hood real quickly. See that little right there? BMW, yep, that's what we're talking about with the powertrain. Accelerate up through here. Oh yeah, zero to 60, just over four seconds. And um, this goes fast. This is a lot of power. A lot of uh, horses here at my fingertips. The steering wheel is just the reins. I'm gonna get up here on the highway and we'll do an acceleration test. Oh, good stuff. By the way, the outside temperature, 91. Feels like 95 or more on the inside. Now, I'm gonna put it in sport mode. It revs it up a little bit. Not a lot going on in the instrument cluster, just a little few more red uh, colorings. Wait for my opening here, and we will accelerate fast. Don't wanna scare all the drivers, though. This looks good right here. And there, made it. That was that was zero to sixty from a dead acceleration onto the highway. Boy, this is loud. Uh, cargo. Here's a quick look at the cargo. Um, narrow, a lot really narrow on the outside, but it does have some pass through. You can actually see up to the passenger and driver from the cargo area. Still usable space, but. Hey, what are you going to do? It's a two-seater. It's all right. But that's what the cargo looks like. This thing hugs well. Dang. So from reading and learning, this has uh, almost 50 more horsepower. Same engine as last year's, the, the three-liter, although there's a two-liter also available. A couple of different trim levels. Uh, available. All that's going to be on everymandriver.com. I just want to kind of have fun driving this car and get something on video so I can prove that I was in the 2021 Supra. Uh, so they managed to get more horsepower on this, almost 50 and just a few more pound feet of torque overall. So this is, damn, they did a fun job. I don't know if, if, if you as watching this are bothered by the fact that there's just a lot of Toyota emblems on what's basically a BMW. Uh, one thing I did notice when I was walking around the car and doing some inspecting, I love all the different contours and shapes of this car. It looks really sharp. 
uh, whether it's the you know the, the, the large nose, the back end with the spoiler, how it's shaped, indents, curvatures and such. But these vents, a lot of these vents are for looks. They're like basically covered up the plastic inserts over the vents. Some of them are useful, but most of them, more often than not, are not useful, which is kind of surprising. Maybe it's, uh, if you already have nearly 400 horsepower, maybe you're not gonna do much more or want much more or want to upgrade it much more. But I think from what I was reading, that that gives someone options to um, create more power with more air throughout the car. I don't know, I'm not an engineer. Ask Jason about that. He might know better than I do, or well, he will know better than I do. I'm gonna do a little uh, scenic driving here on this country road up here, so you can see what it looks like and enjoy the scenery here in uh, the inland northwest of Washington State. And again, all the good de details about this car are on my website. And then I put some pictures here and there on Instagram as well as Facebook. It is hard not to throw the hammer down on this car. Woo! Dang, dang, boy. It shifted right there before 6,000 RPM. Yeah, I hit, uh, I hit 60 miles per hour in a matter of seconds. All right. Have you seen a bigger smile on my face? Probably not, not a long time. It is nice in a way that this is not a manual. I mean, I'm finding the positives, uh, not having a manual because I can keep both my hands on the steering wheel while I'm driving around corners and, and hugging the road versus having to shift. Although I know it's only a split second, but it's got a nice eight speed automatic transmission. This also has a wireless charging pad for my, uh, my phone. I really like the heads up display. Visibility is not that big of an issue. I mean, guys, boom, turn around, there it is. But the back mirror is good. Everything on the steering wheel says BMW, except the Toyota logo. Of course, I got a car in front of me, right? Come on, Subaru, get out of here. I'm just slowing down so I can speed up. Man, I can hear those back wheels gripping. Rip it, rip it. The guy's going where I want to go. I'll let him go. And then I'll catch up fast. Oh, this is a great exhaust note. This exhaust note's great, man. Yesterday when I was driving this, uh, I felt as though I could lose control. It's like that. Jeez. Makes me want to get out on a track just so I can let this thing, you know, whip around, get the tail end out, so I can just use it. Would this be a fun track car? You know, pay for a couple of laps, get out there, let it breathe. Yes, sir. <laughs> Anyhow, thanks for riding shotgun with me. I know this wasn't very informative, uh, but pre-production, maybe I'll get a uh, post-production vehicle in the near future, but more details on everymandriver.com. You'll see it also on my Facebook page. Give me a follow and a like on those other social media platforms. Appreciate that. And uh, we'll see you a little bit later. Thanks for watching. Adios. Woo. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Please click.
click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time. One more thing before you go, I've added links in the description below to some of the best selling automotive accessories and products on Amazon right now, plus links to some of the product reviews I've done. You can find it in the description below this video. And if you don't mind, take a couple of seconds and click that subscribe button. I'm uploading two, three, sometimes four new videos every week, and I don't want you to miss anything, plus it helps support my channel. As always, if you have any constructive criticism, thoughts, or suggestions about my video, please leave it in the comment section below.